to you. I'm Hayley Palmer. It's so good to have you here with me on tonight's show, especially as we have the greatest guest for you. Oh yes, it's the one and only Chesney Hawks. And here is what happened when I caught up with him. Chesney Hawks, yeah. it's great to have you on the show. How are you? It's so good to be back, Hayley. I've missed you. I've missed you too. It's been a long time. I think the last time I saw you uh, was that was then. This is now with Mike Stock. It was brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah, and Mike Reed. And Mike Reed. Exactly. That was legend. Uh, and that, what an amazing production that was. That was an incredible day. I, I mean, you spent a lot of time at that studio, but how amazing was that? It was good times. It was like old times as well, wasn't it? It was a complete throwback, and everyone was doing like an yeah. old song and a new song. It was genius. And it was also like being on the top of the pops stage. You know, that's kind of what it felt like. <laughs> it was. I ate too much. I just kept picking on food all day. I felt sick by the end of it, though. Ah, uh, the catering. The yeah. curse of the catering. I know, I put on the bad stone that week, but never mind. Uh, anyway, it's great to have you here on the show. You are in LA right now, right? I am. I am in Los Angeles, yes. And it's like 10 in the morning for me and 6pm for you, right? It is. And how sunny is it? I have to ask this question because today it's oh, raining, it's... it's windy and it's really quite depressing. <laughs> Well, I have the window open here and you can probably just see a little bit of sunshine coming in. It's beautiful out there. I, oh. I can you tell a lie, Hayley. It's like perfect kind of 75 degree weather. You could sit on a beach. I mean, we're not jealous at all here in England. It's absolutely fine. We're no, OK with not, that. No. But anyway, it is great <laughs> to have you here on the show. I can't wait to talk uh, all your new things you've got coming up. I know there's so much. Uh, so we're going to play out uh, the one and only. But it's actually a version of you singing this with your kids, which I thought was just wonderful. Was this a lockdown? Oh. Yes, this was during lockdown. I did it for uh, for ITV uh, with um, uh, Eamon yes, Holmes I... and and Ruth. Uh... And yeah, so we we got up. Uh, it was a really early. It was like four in the morning. I managed to get three teenagers up and sitting on a couch and singing. Result. Live. <laughs> that was a result. I don't know how we did it, but you've got proof of it. <laughs> and here it is, uh, the one and only uh, with the Hawks okay. family. Enjoy this, and we'll see you after. I am the one and only. kind of plotted and planning this for years uh, I want to hear all about this because I think it's such a good idea yeah it, it's something that I've been working uh, with my partner uh, Charlton Pettis who is the guitarist and producer for Tears for Fears um, uh, and we've been working on this for years I mean like four or five years and 
we we were getting close to getting it on a stage. We had you know a great team in place, a director and producer and everything else, and uh, even casting it and stuff. Um, but then this, I don't know if you've heard about this uh, coronavirus thing that kind of happened, like and so. <laughs> So we, there was no chance we were going to get it on the stage uh, anytime soon. So, um, so we just kind of put it on, on the shelf uh, through the pandemic. And then, you know, we decided maybe the best thing to do is just get the music out there. So we recorded the music through lockdown and we cast this amazing group of incredible singers. Some of them my friends, some of them we found from the musical theatre. Uh, and they did all of their recording of their vocals um locally like it, it was it was quite funny it would be some in with in bedrooms some of them were like in cupboards and and uh, it was wonderful and we got all the vocals to to us here in LA and we put it together and we uh, over christmas we 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 started to put it out um it's only on youtube it's on my youtube channel at the moment so if anyone's interested go to uh, i think I'm Chisney Hawks official on on youtube and then find the playlist the one and it's all on there Yes, and we're going to put details on the screen now uh, so you can check that out. Uh, your single, Hindsight, uh, that's from the musical, isn't it? That's doing really well on the Heritage chart. Yes, exactly. Well, I, I, exa I, I mean, I didn't know that was happening on the Heritage chart, but, then, but when Mike uh, sent me a thing saying, hey, look how well your song's doing, I was like, ooh, that's nice. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, a, it was a song that we always thought might be a single from, from the musical. Um, I'm just happy it's doing, it's flying up the heritage chart. It's great. It's nice to be back Absolutely. in the charts, Hayley. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And what with this musical moving forward, is it something you're planning to do in London or I think, LA? I think I'd like to get it on on a stage in England, to be honest, because it is a very British musical. Ooh. It's set in a pub right. in Leicester. You know, it's like, it's hard to translate okay. that to an American You can't audience. get more English than that. <laughs> no, yeah. you can't. You really can't, so... Um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, we do have interest for it over here, so you never know. You never know what life it will have. Um, and I'm just waiting for things to kind of calm down and, and perhaps, you know, hopefully uh, for a stage to, be, to become empty for us to, to jump in, you know? Well, I know I can speak for myself and viewers at home. We would just love to see that. I mean, I'm a big fan of musical theatre. I love supporting musical theatre, especially after everything that's happened. Uh, and I yeah, just think that yeah. would be such a good idea. And uh, we all want to come and support you on it. Keep us posted, won't you? I, will, I totally will keep you posted, absolutely. It's a, it's a labour of love and something that I can see happening in the future for sure. Yeah. But in the meantime, I've got all sorts of other things going on. So. Woo, he's a very busy man, so we're very lucky to have him here. We're <laughs> going to play out the song uh, Aeroplane. Now, I love this song. I know everyone goes on about the one and only, but I've always said Aeroplane is my favourite of yours. Ah, uh, it's because you're sentimental, aren't you? It's all about my kids. I am. <laughs> yes. And I love that. So we are going to play that out on the show right now and catching up more with the brilliant Chesney Hawks after this. Daddy, please make me an aeroplane. I want another one just the same. I watch it fly with the sun and I walk you home in the rain from the fair Are you cold? I'll give you my coat to wear I'll treasure this moment I almost missed These moments make up a life and you wanna take it all in Just fall in So many snapshots in time If anyone can make me stand still You will You will Remember when you pushed me into the sea Laughing so hard we could barely breathe Like long lost friends You know you will see again These moments make up a life And you wanna take it all in Just fall in So many snapshots in time
snapshots in time If anyone can make me stand still You will You will You will, you will. Daddy, please make me a aeroplane Now I want to talk about your box set uh, this is pretty exciting. I know this has made a lot of people's day. I've seen people writing on Twitter. Uh, this is available now on Amazon, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's, a, it's available um, for pre-order um, uh, from Amazon and from the website as well. Um, and then uh, I guess in March, I think the 25th, it will be available like in the shops and everything else. So yeah, it's very exciting. This is another labour of love, to be honest. And it's been a, an interesting kind of, um, you know, emotional, cathartic, uh, delve into the past you know I kind of found all these old demos and uh, old, even going back to old like the one and only demo and uh, you know just really really interesting fun stuff for me I, mean, I don't know how interesting it would be for everyone else but I guess we'll see you know it's it's been it's been a really and also not just the uh, the music but like going back to old pictures and things like that you know that's yeah. all part of the booklet and everything so it's it's been a real an interesting journey a real trip down memory lane. Did that, did that come about during lockdown? Was that your idea or how did that come about? Um, no, that was actually that came about as an idea because Chrysalis, uh, the record label that I was signed to back when I was a, a wee lad. Um, back in the day. They still, <laughs> back in the day, they still own the masters to the Buddy Song soundtrack and my second album, Get the Picture. So they came to me with the idea of, of putting those two albums together with the two albums that I put out since then that I own um, and making and making a box set of kind of like the complete picture, you know? Um, so I was like, yeah, okay, that sounds great. And it did get put on hold a little bit through the pandemic. Um, mm. And that's why you'll find that everybody's putting out their, pro their products now, all the stuff they've been working out <laughs> since before the pandemic, oh, everything's coming out now, it's crazy. No, I think it's absolutely brilliant and I think it's a real treat for people. So, again, we're going to put details on the screen below. Uh, make sure great, you get great. one of no, those. No, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> oh, fantastic. And we're going to go into a song now with, um, it's actually a duet, with the brilliant Mark Reed. You two really remind me of each other, actually, because you're both like these super talented musicians. Um, when you two come together, it's just genius, isn't it? Well, Mark and I have known each other for a long time now. Um, and there was a time when Mark, we actually did a, a musical together, would you believe? Oh, that's, where, that's where we first met, yeah, it was called oh. Seasons of Love, um, years ago now, and it's in the West End. And so we, we've been friends ever since, and, and he is an incredibly talented musician, great singer, great, an amazing piano player, actually. And he's from and, Portsmouth. And, so that, and he's from Portsmouth, exactly, <laughs> a local boy for you. And I have, uh, every time I, I gig uh, close to him, uh, he's he always is like, comes along and and we do this version that you're about to see of Take on Me, and then you know I've I've done the same thing, got up at one of his gigs, and oh. it's just something that we that we've kind of loved doing, and we thought during lockdown, uh, we we decided to to do a, like a, a real fun kind of recording of it, and we did it live with a with a string quartet all all uh, over the internet, so. Yeah. It was fun. And we included my little dog, Mischief, who you'll see in the Oh, right how is Mischief? Bottom right. Yeah, he's fine. I should have brought him along. But I forgot to bring him. I know you love Mischief. I do. I, I do. I much prefer so, dogs I, to I, humans. I, yeah, I, I remember you saying. Oh, now I wish I really brought him along. Oh, well, because you prefer Mischief to me, really, don't I you? I do. I do. Well, never mind. Yeah. We'll get Mischief. We'll have his own show another time. Yeah. But you'll see him in this in this video. Oh, so. look out for him. All right, well, enjoy this and uh, we will catch you after. To say I'll say it anyway Today's a new day To find you You're shying away I'll be coming for your love, okay Take on me Take me Odds and ends, and 
I'll be stumbling away Slowly learning the life is okay Stay after me It's no better to be safe than sorry Take on me you say is it a lie or just to play my worries away you're all the things I've got to remember shying away I'll be coming for you anyway take Chesney Hawks here. This is Caught Up in Circles. Another hour, yeah. 
Chesney, I loved that you were on Celebrity Coach Trip. I love this show. Uh, my friend Linda and I watched this religiously. We love Brendan's. We're a massive oh, fan of Brendan. I love Brendan. I, it's my aim in life to meet him. Who doesn't um, love Brendan? I'd love to go on coach. Who doesn't love Brendan? He's an absolute comedy genius. Legend. And uh, I'd love to go on that show, but I'd get travel sick. Um, so what happened? <laughs> Tell us how this came about with your... Um, Coach Trip partner, which was Nancy Delalio, yes. uh, icon. Uh, totally. Tell us all the goss. Oh my gosh! I mean, I because I was only there for like four days. I didn't really, you know, I missed all the craziness with Paul Danan and and Honey G and all yes. the. Yeah, and I mean, that, I watched some of it because obviously I got to know, uh, you know, some of the contestants that were there with them at the time. And I was, and we've got a little WhatsApp group that we. Uh, Oh, <laughs> that we all talk perfect. about everything behind the scenes, the stuff that I probably couldn't tell you, not on screen anyway. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but it was something else, a lot of drama. No, my experience was really fun, to be honest. I mean, I, obviously, I know Leslie and Linda pretty well because I've, I've worked with them oh, in the past. I was, I was pleased for them, yeah, that they yeah, won. Yeah, I mean, that was an obvious, they were obvious winners. Uh, but I love, love the Queens, Sister Sister and Ginny Lemon. I mean, talk about stars <laughs> are born. They're so amazing. Yes. I love them. They're such beautiful people as well, like really big hearts. Um, you know, the, the twins, that, uh, the, the, the TikTok boys the, yeah. and the Fatty Brothers. Yeah. Just lovely people, just really great people. I mean, I mean, everyone I met, you know, Sophie and James were lovely as well. Um, yeah. You know, the the Olympians were great. I, I, you know, we just had such a good time, to be honest with you. I mean, as far as gossip, it looked like that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I loved it when you went down the flumes and everything. That was my favorite. Oh, that was so bit. funny. I, I, my, that was my favorite with Nancy. I mean, because obviously she didn't really <laughs> want to do anything, <laughs> like she didn't that even want me. to do that. She took a lot of persuasion. I can relate to her. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. No, she's. <laughs> As she says, you know, uh, glamour is a, 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 what did she say, her exact words? Glamour is a, a state of mind. <laughs> so, yes. You know. Oh, yes, Nancy, like that. But no, it was such a good series. And um, when I saw Paul Dedan on it, I was like, this is brilliant. We need to go around and tell everyone about this show. And so yeah. I was getting all my friends to tune in. I was putting it on Twitter. Um, it was absolutely fantastic. And yeah, I got that vibe that it was just like a really nice group of people. It's and that so really fun. did come across. I mean, honestly, we've stayed friends like, and we, we text each other all the time on this uh, little group. Oh. And, it, you know, they're just it was just an experience um, that, uh, you know, we had together. And, and, and obviously when the people are really nice, I mean, I think by the time I got there, it was like there was no drama. Everyone was having a good time. It's coming to the end. Uh, and it was all about just having a good time, you know. Yeah. And so, so I think I got lucky, really. There, you did actually. That you just came in for the last bit. <laughs> it was yeah. absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, if you had missed it, I'm sure you can catch up with it because it was such. It's all a on good... E4. So, oh, is it? You can get it online on E4. Yeah, it's all there. Do it. It's all still there. Do it. You won't regret <laughs> it. We're going to go into a song now. Um, this is you and your wife uh, singing. It's not like this. Oh, you two. I mean, you just. It's, it's just beautiful and you're both so talented your whole family is such a musical family isn't it <laughs> oh thank you that was another lockdown moment for us you know we're sitting sitting around drinking a bottle of wine and talking about uh um, normal people do you remember that show that was really yes. big during the pandemic during the lockdown and so the, one of the lines in that uh, in that show was she turned to him and said, it's not like this with other people. And it kind of got me and Chrissy talking about our relationship and how we feel. And and I, as it always is in my house, there's a guitar propped up in the corner and I just started playing a little riff and then we just wrote the song and took it further and then we recorded it. Then we took it even further and made a little video in our front room and, and we just put it out, you know? So oh. that was it was good fun. Well, it's just beautiful. Here it is. And uh, I will be sticking to chess on the other side. You'd say what's on your mind If we could read between these lines we wouldn't waste this precious time And though we might not know it yet This may be all the time we get And it won't matter what we said But it's not like this it's not like this at all It's not like this With other people 
this little video for you. This is Lost in You. I feel like breaking this silence. It's so loud, yeah, too loud. Just me and these four walls and my empty view. So I close my eyes and I open my heart and I find myself lost in you. I've had enough of this cold night. So long, too long Only you can make it feel right All right for me So I close my eyes And I open my heart And I find myself lost in you New day, new town same old song Feels like I've been gone too long oh. Oh. Your gigs 
this year. I have seen in the summer, you're at Rewind. Woo! Love a bit of Rewind. I am. Woohoo! I've got two of those. Henley. Got, uh, and Rewind South and Rewind Goods. North. Yeah. We like that. And I'm so glad it's back this year because that is like the highlight of my year. Love a bit of Rewind. Um, also in, I think it's Warner's in May and is it At Fest in July? Yeah, I've got all sorts actually in. Yeah, at first I've got uh, the Let's Rock shows as well. I'm doing, um, oh. I mean, there's loads of Butlins. Anyone who's interested in Butlins, I've got loads of those coming up. <laughs> it's all on, ch- on chisneyhawks.com if you're interested. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and it must be so nice to get back out there and do the live gigs again, right? Well, yes, it's incredible to be on a stage again, to be honest. I mean, you know, my pocketbook is uh, is thanking me as well. <laughs> <laughs> that was tough <laughs> through the pandemic with no yeah. gigs, you know, basically two years without work, you know. So it is it's it really is nice crazy. to be able to yeah. pay pay my mortgage again. <laughs> <laughs> Which is an absolute bonus. And it must be so nice. Everyone just I mean, everyone just knows your songs, don't they? So what is that it's, like when the crowd are there just like screaming it back at you? That must be an insane feeling. It's pretty amazing right now, um, after the pandemic. You know, I I did a, a Butlins the other day. And it was 3,000 people, just no masks in sight, just going crazy. And it was just like the old days, but, you know, even better in a way, because everyone's so happy to be out and so happy to be, you know, at a live show and just kind of, you know, with each other and people mingling. And I mean, it's it's amazing that I know we're not out of this yet, but um, it is pretty cool that we, we are able to do this again. Yes, it's good to be back. Well, we're going to put details again on the screen of Chesney's website so you can check out exactly uh, where he is performing. Uh, now, I want to show this clip. This is you and your son, Indiana. Um, it's the mini set on the couch clip um, from lockdown. Like I said before, you are just such a talented family and I just love that you pick up the guitar and you just sing along. It's just brilliant. Yeah, Indy's an amazing uh, talent. I mean, this the, sh- the clip you're about to show, he was only 14 at the time. Um, he's 16 now, and honestly, he's he's so good. He came on tour with me uh, at the end of last year. Um, we, we did like 30 gigs with me. Uh, and he's just an incredible lead guitar player. He's just brilliant. Wow. So, I mean, watch this space with him, honestly. I was going to say, we need him on the show. We need the whole family on the show. You do, we yeah. Do. I- I would, I would, I would have brought him with me, but he's, you know, he's a sixteen-year-old boy, so he's fast asleep, obviously, oh. on a Sunday morning. <laughs> he's got no intention of getting up any time of this uh, midday. Oh, God, yeah, no. uh, Not... don't blame him. I really don't. Well, here is um, that clip we were talking about, and uh, we'll see you on the side. Never meant to cause human sorrow. Never meant to cause you pain Never meant to... Oh, shit. <laughs> You're laughing Sorry, Indy, it's okay I only want to see you laughing in the purple rain Purple rain, purple rain
from that? Well, this is another uh, project that project that has been um, slightly shelved because of the pandemic. Um, it was ready to go in 2020. Um, so funnily enough, a lot of the fans kind of already know some of the songs only because I've been playing them, you know, at, at, at various gigs, just little little, little tippets of, of songs, you know, like. So, um, yeah, uh, this is something I'm really excited about. Um, my, my friend Jake Gosling produced, he's the guy who uh, discovered Ed Sheeran and produced his first album. Oh. Uh, and he, so he's a, a very much, uh, you know, A-list producer, old friend of mine. So the album is... He kind of pushed me into. I'm still, you know, guitar-based pop music, but he, he's got a great way, Jake, of, of of kind of pushing me into into the 21st century. And he even had me rapping at one point. Uh, don't be scared. It's not. It's not like a proper. I'm not Eminem or anything, but like you know, he's kind of pushed me into kind of trying new styles, which was really really fun. And uh, I think that the 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 finished. Um, the finished product is 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 something to it, really interesting, and I, I'm really very very proud of it. So that'll be out uh, probably um, midsummer, right. something like that. Okay, well we're gonna watch the space on that. So aside from the wrap, is that like a favourite bit? <laughs> we are we're all gonna account for the wrap now. Um, aside from that, is there? Well, you're, you're gonna come for the Chesney Hawks. <laughs> Literally, rap. I'm living for the Chesney Hawks rap. Um, is there a favourite song? Is there a favourite bit on the album? Is there something we need to look forward to? Well. Well, I, I don't think I, I, I'm able to tell you any names of songs or anything like that, but there are so many songs in there that I'm very, very proud of. And that there are some kick the door down pop classics in there for sure. But there are also some very kind of cathartic, uh, emotional, lyrical content stuff that I, you know, that stuff that like I had, it had to come out. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, you just have to wait and see. Uh, Ooh, Hayley, you have to wait and see. Can't wait for that. Well, we uh, we'll do keep our spaces on that, and also uh, your podcast. Uh, I wanted to talk about because, like I said to you off air, I was like, I don't know how you do all these things, Chesney, but you're just like literally got it all going on. Uh, talk us. I got a lot of plates. He has. Spinning. He has. Uh, talk us through this podcast. <laughs> uh, what can we expect from this moving forward? Yeah, well, we've did, we've done two seasons. Um, it's we're actually going to rebrand. I think was, we we were called um, um, we're all a bit mental. That was the first two uh, two seasons, um, and we're going to rebrand. We're still in the middle of figuring out what we're going to call it and everything. But it's uh, it's basically a chat show, um, and we did you know concentrate on uh, th- on. on things like mental health and 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 the state of the world and how and how we're all interacting with each other um but uh one of one of my co-hosts is a comedian so we have a lot of laughs um so we have a lot of tears a lot of laughs and i i um every guest that we have on chooses a song uh, one of their favorite songs or a song that me- that brings them some kind of emotion or some good memories or bad memories and then i recreate it right here in my studio for them so it's like a little gift so it's it's fun it's it's a, it's a great. Um, I, I really love my my co-hosts, and we we really had a, a great time through through lockdown putting it together. So, we're we're heading into this new season with a with a new brand, and we'll we'll see how it goes. But yeah, watch this space on that one. I do love a podcast, uh, so I will definitely be listening into that one. Uh, so again, we're going to put details on the screen because there's so much going on. I'm just going to recap, actually. So we've got the box set, <laughs> we've got the new musical, we've yep. got the podcast, we've got the yep. gigs, and we've got the new album. Yep. If I missed anything out, we need more Chesney. That's not enough. I mean, you know, I've, I've, I've got my kids, I've got uh, uh, my, my crazy life. I mean, yeah, that's about it, yeah. The dogs and the kids you missed out. But. Yes, I gave up from that. No, honestly, it's just brilliant. And thank you so much for giving up your time today. Um, I particularly did want to talk to you about Coach Trip, I'm not going to lie, and we are going to look out for that. <laughs> I rap. noticed the, the excitement level went up about that that high with you and started talking about Coach Trip. I mean, I wanted to talk to you I about everything to... else, but Coach Trip was the one. Yeah, yeah I, th- I think we need like a glass of champagne each and then we'll go into it properly. Oh, Perhaps we could talk through every, every episode, every detail. That would be my life made. Thank you. But Chesney Hogs, <laughs> thank you so much. We absolutely, as always, love having you here on the show. Uh, thank you for making our Saturday night. Yeah, and I love being on your show, Hayley. You're so good. And I, I appreciate you having me. I really do. And until next time. Absolutely. It's Chesney Hogs, everyone. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Bye.
Oh, huge thank you, Chesty Hawks. What a brilliant guest here on tonight's show. Always makes our day. And thank you to you at home for supporting the show. It really is much appreciated. Thank you. Now, I will see you same time, same place next week. Uh, we're going to leave you with Secrets of the Heart uh, by Chesney and I'll see you then. Standing side by side, we still live.